Well, hello everybody and welcome to Funny Crab. <laughs> One touch. Okay. Um, anyway, yes, welcome to Patia. So, of course, the rain's on. Thought maybe you would like to come and have a look at the rim before it gets ripped apart. Right, okay. Right, so this is the Tropicana Hotel, and the impression's right away is nice corner, ground level, pool level. Uh, room, no upstairs involved. Um, nice fresh room. Now I'll tell you before I even start, it's an hour money, £38 a night, which is rather uh, a little bit more expensive. I could have got a room half that price, but I wanted something quite near the pool and a wee bit luxury. Uh, stay here for a week for 266, so which is quite good. What suit that? So, anyway, what we got? So, of course. Uh, not even a wrinkle in the bed covers. Look at that. So we've got complimentary tea and coffee, usual old thing. Nice fridge down there with a bar. Toilet's normal. Fresh again. Bright. Oh, we've got a bath. Good. A bath. And standard toilet. And we've got a garden. So that's what we need. And of course, I need the hair dryer. You see. Yes, and uh, the only thing I will say about it is there is n nice, oh well, there is nice big, it's not often you get the big nice wooden hangers, there's no uh, safety uh, safe in the, in the room uh, and they inform me that it's a safety box at the reception, so okay, it's no problem, it's outside. And uh, here we are, pools nearby. Mm -hmm. So, can't really grumble at £38 a night. Uh, I would normally take something less than that. But I really do like, uh, uh, if you've seen some of the videos before, I really like a, a room with a pool access. Uh, it sort of makes my holiday, you know, just to be able to get up in the morning and jump in the pool. This one, we've got a 20 yard walk to do that. Uh, however, anyway guys, that's the room. Tropicana uh, Hotel. Uh, good location. Excellent location. Uh, in fact, most of the att attractions for most people are just two streets away and that's Soy 6 and uh, a five minute walk. I managed to get myself a, a motor bike. I'll let you have a look at that as well and we'll check out the the prices and that for that. But listen, it's all standard fare guys, it's no, nothing. I think in future when I'm doing some sort of videos I'll I'll kind of do something that's a bit unusual rather than just the straightforward things that you see day in and day out. Just like the way I've done that room, you know. Because some people do like to see the hotel. Um, in fact, I before I booked this hotel, I did also a research on YouTube to see if anybody had done previous videos on it. And there was a couple. So, uh, yeah. And this room took my fancy, so there we go. See you in a bit guys, whatever's coming up next. Yeah, I've made it, we're here, Patia Beach, and 8 o'clock in the morning, beautiful morning, and uh, yeah, I arrived yesterday, around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, nice flight from Ro uh, Royette down to uh, Bangkok, Dongmung Airport. Quick taxi from Dongmung Airport down to Pattaya. And uh, again, guys, if you're looking for any details on how to do that journey, particularly taxis, uh, drop a comment and I can uh, I'll be able to send you a link, or I could probably even put a link in the description. Um, it's not something I normally do, but I will if you're interested 
Uh, let's have a look around, guys. It's exactly 8, 10 in the morning. I went out last night for a little drive around and it was quite busy in lots of the areas like Soy Bucal, um, Soy 7, Beach Road. Um, yep, these areas were pretty busy, uh, quite lively. So I think most of the bars are open now, guys. Of course, there's still a few still closed, probably feeling the, the brunt of uh, the COVID still. Some may never recover, sadly. But uh, I have to say, things are definitely looking up. I was speaking to Nick Deans, the owner of the... Uh, well, he's got a few bars now, Nick. And so he's seven, Hedonism, DG7 in the corner one. And, uh, yeah, hookup corner, I think they call it. And uh, Nick was saying he's looking forward to the next few months ahead. So, uh, I think we're all like that, guys. I'll probably be here roughly a week to two weeks. Same old me, guys. Not really any plans. The only thing I do know is that I have to go home uh, when my visa runs out. And I managed to get an extension onto my visa in Kalasin. I did a video of that previously as well. So, for me, it's a bit of exercise. Got up this morning, went along to the little gym in the Tropicana Hotel that I'm in, and uh, the machines were not really plugged in or anything. In fact, the room was a bit warm. I tried to put the air conditioning unit on the coolant, but <sighs> gave up. I thought for, for all that I'm really going to be doing anyway, so I thought, right, okay, I had a little bit uh, abs, stomach, and uh, went along a few lengths of the pool, into the shower, and now going to do some steps. Don't know what I want too much because my knees, I suffer for uh, osteoarthritis in my knees, but I would say not too much compared to other people. I'd rather keep my own knees, you know, at the moment. Uh, I'm not giving up on them and they still carry me where I want to go. So, yeah, looking forward to today and uh, let's head off and see what today brings. Well, it'd be interesting to see if you can uh, hear me, even while I'm driving down the road, see if we can catch out some interest now. It's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, guys, well, exactly 11.30 in the morning. Soy Bacal, a bit of a hub for tourists, to be honest. But you get a lot of these bat buses, uh, you can see that's what's holding us up. And there's another bat bus coming up the way. There's plenty of these bat buses going up and down these soys, guys, taking you to different places. They're all numbered as well, so you can start to learn if you're here for a few weeks. So there it is. The bat bus. This is the lower end of the soy bacal and uh, that's so touristy. Seven Elevens everywhere. Every a couple of hundred meters you'll find a Seven Eleven shop. And if you look closely, there's one right across the road as we come into this new road. Plenty of massage down here on the left and on the right hand side at the end of the Soy, and here we are coming out to what we would call maybe the central road. Um, and this is the central road, looking right down the centre, the path here down to the beach. So, this is, of course, our south on the beach road, guys. And, uh, well, beach road really speaks for itself in Patia, it's, uh, it's the main area. Uh, 
people come down. There are some selective um, places where people congregate. This is one here on the left hand side. It's quite popular. But of course it's 11.30 in the morning guys and people are still maybe getting up, having breakfast, drinking coffee and you know, try to get rid of the hangover for the night before. <laughs> Wow. I've never woke up in the morning wishing I was pissed the night before, that's for sure. This is another area which is quite popular. Uh, what I do notice is there's a lot more boats out on the water. I've seen them this morning in the video. And uh, it means that you know, they're, they're trying their best to, to get things up and running and get past all this COVID, which is still biting a little bit. And there are definitely a lot of shop restaurants owners who are having issues, who are uh, yeah, still feeling the pinch from that. Uh, the blow that everybody, the impact of that, Covid was devastating to a lot of businesses and uh, some might never open, some might never recover. I hear uh, I've been talking to a lot of people uh, last night, uh, a lot of business owners are actually borrowing money to try and get themselves back on track again, so at least it's something. Um, Anyway guys, that's coming up to the end of each road. There's a lot of soys up here as you can see that are quite busy. Yeah. And walking street, dead ahead. So we'll take a wee drive up Walking Street while we're at it. You're not going to... It's good to go up at this time. I'll maybe go up there in the evening sometime and see how busy it is. But, uh, yeah. So we're driving up Walking Street. And I've got new paving, of course. You can see that from the last time it was up. And, uh, advertising boards. And of course, nothing can match a visit this place with pre COVID, of course. To be honest, I, I think a lot of people are now afraid of talking about COVID and they're just giving it a rest now. Put it to bed and let's wake up from that situation and uh, look forward probably to the uh, high season. Which will probably be November, December. Okay, so this is just, just coming up to the end of the uh, street now. Hi guys, uh, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, it's quite hot actually, I might have came at the wrong time, however, I've came to the Wat Praiai 
on the the viewpoint uh, side of Patia Bay, where the big Patia sign is, and uh, it's uh, Wat Praia. Uh, let's have a look at that. I'm at the foot of the stairs, so you can have a look. Yeah, so constructed in the 1940s. Now we're talking about the, the Wat. The Buddha was actually constructed in 1977 and flanked by two big dragons either side for protection. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, the actual Buddha itself was constructed in 1977. However, the, the temple was constructed in the 40s when Pattaya was still a, a small fishing village. And uh, overlooks the bay, some beautiful scenery over the bay. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get something up there. So, let's have a look up here and see what we can find. Okay, so. To be honest with you, you can't really walk on the, on the, the tiles because your feet are burning, so it's pretty awkward. Uh, so yeah, so there's the Buddha, uh, 18 metres tall, and uh, it appears that monks from all over this area uh, come here to pray and offer their prayers. 18 metres tall. Mm. It's actually the biggest in Chonburi mm. province. Mm. But it's certainly not the biggest mm. Buddha I've seen. Mm. Uh, some Buddhas have been constructed mm. in some areas uh, mm. be 200 feet high. Mm. Anyway, painted gold. Mm. Lots of little statuettes around. And, uh, familiar, familiar little candle, floating candles. Uh, similar to the ones that we put in the, the waterfall at uh, Pusay. Anyway, I'm going to try and attempt to walk over these tiles in this heat, but I'm looking for some shade, but uh, ah, it's a delightful little place, beautiful, it's very warm, uh, whew, must be at least 32 degrees, try and see if I can catch some cool air before we go any further, and get the back end of the Buddha, there we are, yeah. So, I had to come over here and get some cool air. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, absolutely beautiful. Yep, and uh, there isn't really a big scenic view around. Uh, you can get a view over the bay to like jump to any area and uh, let you have a look. So, yeah, you're getting a good look out, and further over to the left side, you'll start getting John Tien Beach area. So this is the bit, sort of knuckle part of the, the bay. Uh, anyway, so there we are. What praia? What is the temple? Pra is blessing, and there are a few other words that are used for pra. And yai is obviously large. Noi is small. So, big temple. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head back down the stairs again and uh, 
Let's go around to the. Uh, oh well, there's the actual one. Then that's the case. Now I'm sure the big bit of Here's the one. Yeah. And I think this is a prayer name here of the monk. Giving a prayer there. I like my new shoes. Well, they're doing my big toe, big damage by the way. Oh my god. Tell you what, cutting into me. I need to get used to them. Okay. So, try to see if I can find something better to talk about. <laughs> Other than my big toe. Okay. Bloody. 299 baht these shoes cost me. That's like seven pounds or something. Bucket. The cracker thing. I'm saying Chinese cracker. Hello, hello. I shouldn't really do that. But they're going to throw them into that building there and let them go off. See how there it goes. Quite a dangerous practice if you ask me. There he is. <laughs> All right. Oh, blood. Seems like that. Mm. I don't know. It's celebrating. Stinks anyway, I guess. Just noisy, you know. Anyway, okay, let's have a wee look at this memorial. So, this uh, Admiral Krom Luang Jamborn Kit Udom Sakti. I can't even say it properly, but does it matter? Yeah. He was actually the Prince of Jamborn. Uh, Born in the 19th century, December 9, 1880, in the Grand Palace, and he was the 28th child of King Rama V. His mother, being Chow Kom Mandamort of the Bong family. Yeah. He was a seaman and very skilled, and appeared to all during King Rama V's first journey to Europe. And he actually assumed the helm of the royal ship from Ceylon to Europe. Yes. On the 13th of June in 1900, he was prompted to sub-lieutenant and give a new assignment as a commanding officer to a Siamese naval ship. After all that, all members of the Royal Thai Navy still honour him today as the father of the Royal Thai Navy, Admiral Krom Luang. Yeah. Well done, mate. So, guys, uh, I've had enough now and uh, time to get back. Uh, thanks for watching the video today. It spanned over two days. Um, waking up on the beach on day one, and uh, not waking up on the beach, but waking up for the beach walk in the morning, and uh, a little drive the motorbike there. And the next again day, I've come to visit this area. So I think we can maybe cut this today. But thanks again for watching, and uh, yeah, that little history lesson. But. Uh, 
fantastic views if you ever come to uh, Thailand, come to uh, Pattaya and come and see these breathtaking views. The food is amazing, the nightlife in Pattaya is amazing and uh, yeah, and there's plenty to do during the daytime. However, when the heat, depending on the time of year you come, you might not want to gallivant like I'm doing. And you've got to be very careful if you're getting a motorbike, guys, because it does feel cool when you're driving around, but the heat stops penetrating you, just like being in the water. So be careful. It's no joke if you get hit with the sun. I can try and keep under it, keep away from it. It's, uh, as much as I can. Look at the beautiful flowers in the pots. That's another thing about this place. But anyway, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching and your support. And uh, please subscribe and click like and uh, try and keep us going. Hanging by a thread, but try and keep us going. Okay, guys. If you're wondering where Ta is, by the way, she's still in uh, uh, Ban Po Tong in Kalasin. She's working. And uh, yeah, we all miss her and uh, hopefully we'll be joining her up again pretty shortly. So uh, anyway, I'll leave you with these beautiful pot flowers. Take care guys. <laughs>